I don't think it's just part of our game. Uh, all of us can shoot the three, and um, kind of just we were on the night. So I think one once one person hit another one, uh, kind of would keep on answering throughout our team. It's nice. Did you guys look at this game just as more about okay, we need to win this game because we need to secure a playoff position, or did you guys look at this and say, hey, we're playing the number two team in the nation on a 30-game win streak to the national champions? We're playing the number two team in the nation. And they're 30 and 0 before we knocked them off, and we just we wanted to come in there. We weren't thinking about playoffs. We're thinking about them coming in our house, and we don't want them to walk away with one. What effect did the loss <coughs> have? Because I know that was happened a few weeks ago, but you guys had me think about we know what they did to us in their, in their gym. Let's, you know, let's turn it around in our gym. Well, actually, we wouldn't think about that because <coughs> I mean, the game over there was close as well, all the way. So we were close, we were in the game. So we knew here we got to be a bit better and win the game. So we did that. We played that out there. Played better offense this time than we did last time. How did you guys maintain your composure when this game started going back and forth in the second quarter? In the second half, excuse me, because in the first half, you guys never trailed. And I don't know how many lead changes there were in the second half, but you know this game was so back and forth, I don't think anybody had a lead more than five points. So how did you guys maintain your composure? Um, we had great huddles. Uh, throughout the huddles, we were telling each other, you know, just stay focused. We have this this many minutes left in the game. Um, and any of us on the team can hit a big shot. So. Um, I think we all have confidence in each other, and that, that kind of plays a role in um, the win. Was there any point that you guys were looking over your shoulder, particularly in the last minute? Because I looked at the clock, and it was a minute four, and I thought to myself, they were ahead of UAE at more than a minute four after the game. But then, I, ironically, you were ahead of Western Washington. Did you guys kind of look over your shoulders and say, okay, we've been here before? You know, this is kind of strange. I mean, how did you guys? Actually, we won out last. Three games, we won two out, of, two out of three. They were close games, so we were, felt really confident about ourselves. So, I, I mean, we lost in Anchorage. That's, that was a tough loss, but again, we were confident about ourselves and we made shots lately. We made three throws. Came up with whatever, you know, loose ball, long rebound. The ball, the, the rebounds that we needed, the key rebounds we needed down the stretch, we got those because we wanted it. I felt like we wanted it more than, than, than the other team that came in, you know, a little lax. We just took it to the whole game. We wanted to, we wanted to come in and, and play with us because we've been in this, this position before, like so they said. So we, you know, we had we had nothing to lose. We had nothing to, uh, to show for it. We just, we just wanted to come out and play our hardest. This is just for you. Uh, you started the game off in the three pointer, and then I think it was only like, I don't know how I many minutes, like less than two minutes left. You hit a three that just and the ball just kind of like nestled in the net. What do you recall about that play? I mean, what, what do you remember about the ball that you had? Um, on the second break? Yeah, the second break. Uh, uh, just, I just saw an opening, and so um, that's never really been a red light for me to uh, shoot. So I kind of just threw it up there and um, hit the backboard and went in, but uh, he went in, so I'm happy about it. Uh, I mentioned this to Ryan on the court, but Sergey, it seems like you guys were relaxed when it came to this game. It seems like you guys were and as you mentioned, you guys had nothing to lose, but I mean, talk about just being calm and composed out there and not letting the atmosphere get to you, not letting the fact that you're playing one of the, you know, the best Division II teams in the country get to you. I mean, talk about just the, the team's to be. I think this is the only way to do it, to stay relaxed, play, give everything out of you, shoot open shots, hit them, play strong defense. That's the only way to win a team like this. So and we did it tonight. As this victory settled in yet, or are you guys just thinking, okay, this is over now, we got to get ready for Simon Frazier? We got to get ready for Simon Frazier. We got, they got us down there pretty bad, so we got to get back there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, this gets us in the GNAC tournament, so that was number one. Is, uh, you know, we probably weren't going to get in anyway, but you know, just a chance to, you know, now we're in, now let's just go finish the season and try to get better. Um, you know, they need to enjoy it tonight. And um, you know, we've got a noon time tomorrow when we practice, and you know we'll try to bring them down to earth. And, um, the the thing is, you know we we'll be determined against Simon Fraser. I mean, we are playing a point that even though you know you might be a little scared because they've only won one game, but one game against us. So uh, I would think that's going to be motivation enough on Saturday. John Allen mentioned that. What difference? I'm glad you saw it. Yeah. 
Uh, Unbelievable. Some might. <laughs> John Allen mentioned one, one difference for you guys was that the offensive rebounds. I'm looking at the stats. You had a 35 to 25 advantage in offensive boards. Talk about that aspect of the game. And I mean, what emphasis did you put on that heading into this? Uh, well, not 35. Uh, I mean, uh, 14 11, but, 14, 11, but we only had 11. Um, yeah. well, defensive well, we kept them. I thought the second half, you know, we did a better job of keeping them off the game. Rebound, but I mean, holding the 37 percent shooting when they shoot over 50. Um, I would like to think our defense had a little bit of something to do with that, but um, you know, boards are even, turnovers are even, we made a couple more threes, and free throws are even. I mean, it's, it kind of came right down the wire when you look at the stats. Speaking of coming down to the wire, you guys have been renowned now for these last second dramatics, and but now when you look at the games against Anchorage, the games against, uh, I'm trying to think of who you won by one point. And then you. Thank and you. Uh, St. Martin. Yeah. yeah, well, they've all been close here lately. But what, uh, how, do, how do games like that just prepare you for moments like this? Well, you need to be in some of those games. You know, we, remember we talked about the first UAA game. We hadn't been in a close game for a while. And, um, I mean, I guess, the, you know, they get, you get confidence. You know, they get confidence in each other. They, you know, um, We've been shooting our free throws good down the stretch. Yeah, you know, we're a little shaky there a couple times. In fact, we're going to throw it away, and we didn't. But uh, but we held our composure up as best we could, and uh, we got a nice break when that was a loose ball, and they had to you know put the shot clock back to 35, so they had to foul us because uh, we could hold for the last shot, or we could hold. You know, we didn't have to shoot, and so I mean that that helped us a little bit there. So they fouled us, and then you know and Kelly went to the free throw line. Made the free throws we needed to. Dom Brinson missed, you know, a pretty radical one-on-one. -on -one, but, um, but we, you know, we had our spurt. You know, we kept it close. Got that little spurt, a couple fast break hoops. You know, under the last six minutes, under six minutes, and I think that was the difference there. We got a couple easy baskets late. Sergey, you know, was was a force inside. Uh, I mean, 26 points. I mean, there's your difference. Um, even though John Allen gets 33, uh, you know, having somebody, we haven't had somebody have a, a monster game like that for quite a while. Uh, speaking of Sergey, I mean, I know it's a lot of times he seemed like be rolling between the high post and the low post, and it's like he just kept him camped underneath the basket this time. Talk about that, that decision. Well, he's, I mean, he's our best three point shooter, and he's our best low post player, Danny. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's a no-brainer. Ba basically, we got we rotate in both spots. You know, if he can get a look at the three, we try to do that. But then at times, uh, especially when they brought Turner in, we were able to go into him twice right in a row when they brought the undersized center in. Um, and then Mitchell fouled out. You know, they're late. So it seemed too that uh, you know I mentioned this to your guys that it seems like you guys were just relaxed to start off the game because you, you, you didn't trail until the second half. You went, you went through 20 minutes without giving the lead, but just talk about that approach to a game like this because you guys could easily been rattled and flustered and you know been intimidated by him. And you just guys like you know. The was start was big. The start was big. Having the lead at half was big, even though we knew the game wasn't over. Um, and they dug into that lead a little bit, but just just the start we had, being ahead at half, you know, made it a 20 minute game. And, um, not the best start of the second half, but we didn't, you know, we didn't let them, we talked about not letting them get away. In other words, don't let them, you know, get 10, get, you know, don't let them get away from us. And we, you know, a couple times when we were in the lead, it was only by a couple of points. So, um, you know, that, that was, that was huge too. Besides build up your confidence, what does a game like this do for you for the rest of the season? Now that you guys know, okay, we, we just started a trip to Lacey, Washington in March. How does a game like this, you know, just basically get you ready for, you know, not only St. Martin's and, your, you know, your two-game road trip in Montana State Billings and uh, I forgot where else you were. Seattle Pacific. Thank you. Thank you, Seattle Pacific. But, you know. Well, I, I, you know, we talked about we're playing the top teams. You know, we have MSU Billings and we have Seattle Pacific. We just played UAA. And, you know, we're getting better. They're going to make us better. Even though it's late in the year, these games are going to make us better. Now, you know, you win a game like this, number one, it gets us in the tournament for sure. And number two, now, you know, we talked about in the Lock Matthew game is, you know, let's get as high a seating as we can. Um, you know, I think you set your sights a little higher, but, um, 
but it's just it's a great feeling knowing that you know you can compete with the best team in the world. Um, that, that's a great feeling um, with this team in the short amount of time they've been together. All right. Okay. Sorry.